It's been baskets galore at the Vodacom Mandeville Indoor Center for the Super Sport Wheelchair Basketball Series for 2018. We've ended the first round, and if the second round is anything to go by, it's going to be a spectacle. Welcome to our highlight show of games that were played on the 9th of June. Featured games today, it's the uh, Eagles, and they're up against the Spears, and the Mongoose will take on the Mighty Lions. Just before we get into the action, a reminder of the games that were played on the 2nd and 3rd of June. It's all about the Wolverines. A clean sweep again. Wolverines heading the log, played 5-1-5 five, five, and uh, just dropping that one bonus point. Otherwise they would have had a full haul of 15 points. So it's Wolverines, Lions and the Eagles. And uh, right at the bottom of the log there you see the Mongoose and the Spears. Our first feature match is the Eagles up against the Spears. Last time out, it was the Eagles who got a win. It was only 60 points to 48, so the Spears know that they can be very much in this game. Before we get into the action, though, Kevin Smith has got the team sheets. This is the uh, personnel for the Diesel Electric Services Eagles. And just uh, look at uh, Ganyapu and uh, Nuke, the two tall men. Uh, they will be... Uh, very key players and uh, normally work very well together for the uh, Eagles team. And the Spears lineup for today includes uh, Superman Lagumbi at uh, number five. He's an ex national player, and uh, the Spears will look uh, to him for a lot of experience. Second half underway here at the Vodacom Mandible Indoor Center. Neville Caswell pushes it in. Not too much change in personnel, and there is the uh, confirmation of the halftime score, 28-24, in favour of the Eagles. And the Eagles looking to try and extend that. Ike Monte just fouled on the shot. Ike Monte looking to extend that lead. Easy as you like. Fabulous free shot. First yeah. attempt up, first attempt down, and that'll certainly get the uh, wings flapping for the Eagles misses the second though just a little too much air yeah and he had those two free shots uh, courtesy of a foul by Ashelembe for the Spears Clamini long pass straight through and uh, Spears able to hold it though it was a loose ball but picked up very nicely by Superman Lagumbi yeah, Nuki got a hand to it, it made it loose, but uh, pressure on the Spears now. So Marcus Retief trying to defend the shot and did very well there. He didn't uh, foul Dlamini, of course he Dlamini, but uh, Spears do pick it up. And it's this man again, Tabane Changi, what a game he's having. Yeah, he certainly is. I mean, he's uh, hit uh, seven two-pointers and two one-pointers. He had uh, eight defensive rebounds and three offensive rebounds so far. So he's having a, a really good game for the Spears. And that shot's going to count, and it looks to me there's going to be one to come from Ganyapu. And uh, Sifuan Lagumbi, the man who uh, committed the foul for the Spears. Very important attempt coming up from Ganyapu because this would push the lead out for the Eagles to six. Well, one for the crowd, but didn't drop. Yeah, he got nice height on it, but uh, just wasn't going to work. Here come the Spears. Changi. Superman Lagumbi, easy as you like. I'll take those two. Yeah, that's his favorite uh, side as well. He likes yeah, coming down the side of, on the left. Just drifting in to the uh, key, and uh, no mistakes. Ball moves very, very quickly across the court for... The Eagles, like Monte, failing on that attempt. But here it is for the Spears. Superman Lagombe, very mobile. Been playing forever, but still as fit as a fiddle, as they say. A little bit too much topspin, and uh, Ike Monte just about thinking of passing it into the backcourt. Here goes the shot from Caswell. Latif has yeah. uh, taken it to the right-hand side of the court. Great little pass from Retief. Nyoke. Wow. Eventually by Ganyapu for the Eagles. 
Well finished off move there by Freddy Ganapu. Almost like a hot potato, he'd already been in that key and he didn't have a lot of time to put it up. But here's a reply attempt from the Spears. And that reply is good. Shabalala. Quick, quick fire replies. And that's the way you stay in this game. It's basket for basket. It's got to be, especially when you're playing with one and two point deficits. But how about that from Marcus Retief from the top of the key? We've seen him do that over the years. Trademark shot, 11 attempts. Only four of those baskets, but important baskets. Gumbe. Maybe just a little too aggressive on that pass to uh, Change. Substitution looks like it's been called. It is indeed. Yeah, on the eagle side. Uh, Tana Ziki's come on. And uh, Ike Monty has gone off. Ganyapu looking to draw a foul. Maybe should have just concentrated a bit more on the basket. But Daniel Nyuke yeah. off the glass. And a very difficult shot, Kevin, under the basket. Difficult to uh, take it off the glass the way he did. An exciting game we are witnessing here. There are quite a few mistakes, though, from both sides, particularly in the passing areas, as we see Ganyapu taking another great layup off the glass. And he seems to have settled down now. He's uh, scored a few crucial baskets. Sierra probably... A little happier now with these troops. They've got an eight-point swing and they've got possession again. As we see, the uh, Eagles players now also seeming to be a little slightly more relaxed. And you know what? When you relax, the body language is good and the baskets start dropping. This game certainly revolves around, especially when a team has suddenly hit their scoring and they're they, uh, coming at you the way the Eagles are. They need to beef up that defense and they need to watch those players from the opposition as to how quickly they're getting into the uh, zone area. So well spoken there, the coach for the Spears. Back on the game. Yeah, it certainly is Andy and that's uh, Daniel Nyoke just making contact and he, he knew he had done it. He's going to be taking the two free shots. Well, Change certainly had an outstanding outing so far and he just carries on. Whittles that lead back to single figures. And somehow that psychological 10 points always makes a difference opportunity and he does and he gets it down to only an eight point lead so two excellent free shots taken from somebody who must be the uh, a contender at least for the mvp but that's still to come in this game retief pushes it through and he has an open opportunity not to be missed by the terminator neville caswell I'm quite happy with that low pointer is caswell ball stolen yeah Kobe actually put the shot up but uh, got checked Retief looking for support and there was loads of it and Caswell manages just to hold on to the ball there under lots of pressure gets it back to Marcus Retief he's going to go for the shot from the top of the key bingo I'll take that get to Queenie Spears they were very very much in this game they probably still are but it's beginning to drift Lamini went for the attempt and uh, looks like a foul was called on that shot. Yeah, Aziki committing the foul and Lamini to take the shots. First one a bit short. And it's unusual. Lamini normally very reliable, particularly from a static shot. Takes the second. Ball back to the top of the key. Marcus Retief, Daniel Nyoke with the shot. Overshoots, good rebound picked up. But, uh, probably in his twilight years, we haven't seen much of Gumbi, and uh, I think he'll come out for the occasional game, but certainly having him on court, the, the experience that he gives his teammates. But right now, it is back to the Diesel Electric Services Eagles. Marcus Retief with a good block, comes in another meter, and that's all he needed. Coach Sierra's happy. Kevin, anything that can happen uh, in this game, uh, uh, lots of things can still happen is what I'm saying. In terms of if Kanyapu were to go for five, he's been quite a key player. That could change the combination. Spears will know that. Yeah, but the difference is that uh, 
on the Eagles side, they've got uh, Jack McCoss. He hasn't been on the court yet, uh, sitting on the side. Yeah, that is a bit of a mystery as we see Retief take another attempt. Good rebound taken by uh, Chungi. What a great pass. And that is just a peach of a basket. Finished off by Sipa Mandlagumbi. Eagles finding their wings in that third quarter and they now lead by 50 points to 39 over the Etiquini Spears. It's the final quarter underway at the Vertical Mandeville Indoor Centre in what was a very, very tight clash between the uh, Spears, who've just taken another, another two points. And uh, courtesy of yeah, Tabani Changa again. Yeah, he's certainly having a great outing. But uh, certainly the first half of this game was neck and neck. Eagles breaking away in that third quarter. So all the work to do now for the Spears. Eagles holding on to possession. Nuke. Very difficult shot trying to take it off his wrist, sitting at a very odd angle as well, and giving possession back to the uh, Spears. See the, uh, Gumbi. Coach Sierra has taken uh, Ganyapu off for the uh, beginning of this quarter and put uh, Mokosi on. Well, Mokosi can only strengthen, although it must be said that Ganyapu's had a very good game so far. Missed a couple of sitters, but uh, also scored some really good baskets. Attempt. Marcus Retief, playmaker, he needs to settle the side down over the line. Looking for players to break into that key. Pushes it out to the side, back to the top of the key. Retief, is he going to take one of those long shots? No, pushes it out to Daniel Nyoke. Nyoke, ball moving really well for the Eagles, but they've lost that possession. Stolen it again, good steal from Daniel Nyoke. Great attempt. Caswell, not able to pick up a loose pass. And it's the Spears who come away with it. Importantly, though, a lot of time wasted on the clock in all those moves. But look at this. We have a ball game. It is an amazing comeback from the uh, Spears. At one stage, the Eagles looked like they were literally running away with it. The score had gone out to 13. They were making merry. And here it is, the Spears in possession. Is this going to be the turning point of this game? Superman Lagumbi, smart player. He knows what to do in these panic situations. That basket looks like it's going to count. We're back to one point, and is there a free shot to come? I think there is. And, uh... Was he ever going to miss? The answer is no. It looked in the third to be basically all over and it would be a formality for the Eagles just to come out but not to be the Spears have come back and wow through this man Tavane Shange what a game he's had not to take anything away though from his teammates great interplay and look at this Tsipaman Lagumbi takes his time counts it 1000 2000 we have new leaders believe it or not here are the Eagles just rolling it in Clock starts now. Daniel Nyuke started off on fire in this game, did Nyuke? And Retief putting up the long shot. Unfortunately, didn't drop for the Eagles. That one did. So we are locked. 57 apiece. Just on a minute left. Are we going to go into extra time? That is the burning question right now. Forget about bonus points and this team winning and that team losing. And Superman Lagombi just getting it through to Dlamini. Dlamini taking two off the glass. Great little pass right at the end of that, uh, just before the collision. So Superman Lagombi, that uh, basket will be good for Nkosi Dlamini. Well, the Eagles will only look back in scoring two points in the last four minutes of this game as we enter the last minute now here come the Eagles here comes Daniel Nyoke has to be a three-pointer well at least a two-pointer to draw them level and uh, coach Viv Sierra is going to look at that and say 
What did we do? Two points missed. Very unusual for Tabane Shange to have missed that. And here is Caswell with it. Easiest basket of the game. 22 seconds, 59 apiece. Just where, oh where, will this game end up? Neville Caswell doing particularly well there. Those baskets always look so easy, but under this kind of pressure, look at the defence from the Eagles, Kevin. Fabulous defence. Yeah, great defence, but now they've got eight seconds to do something with it. And there's that confirmation. We're now in overtime. And the Spears on the attack there, but uh, Bolt taken away from Shalembe. Yeah, it was good hands there by uh, Daniel Nyuki. He got uh, that ball to roll off uh, the player's lap. Kevin, the irony here is that there's still an opportunity for either side to get bonus points. Uh, yeah, it's uh, well, a certainly crazy situation, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and they can both get bonus points because of the, it's either a six-point difference or a, a 65 point on the scoreline. But uh, early days to be talking about that. Yeah, no. full-court press here by the uh, Eagles. And it's a jump ball situation, so the Eagles in possession again. Well, Kevin, it seems that nobody wants it. Whoever's hungry is going to get it. Yeah. Simple as that. Certainly. Is this little man able to do it? Yes, he is. Sipaman Lagumbe, who else? So a strong defense now needed from the Spears. Marcus Retrieve trying to set something up. Ike Monte looks for the shot, takes the two. Ball was fed off well there. Here's a golden opportunity now for the Eagles to take the two, and they've done exactly that. Marked out, but uh, got around Neville Caswell. He's got around all of the Eagles players. Ball's in the top, and this really should be two points. Basket's going to count. No, basket's no good. But uh, certainly a little bit of controversy on the court at the moment with the uh, Spears. Still thinking that that uh, basket attempt should have been a basket. Kevin has more. Yeah, there might be a bit of a contention because uh, if there's a... So you see Caswell putting that uh, basket down. So if it does stay this way, then obviously that protest, for what it's worth, can uh, certainly go through for the spirit of it. But uh, it won't change anything. But this could change something, and it certainly... Looked as if it was going to. Caswell did very well there to hold on to that. Kanyapfu surrounded by Spears players. But it gives an opportunity for an open basket here. And uh, I feared that that was going to be the situation. Just dilly-dallying too much under the basket were the uh, Eagles players. Well, one would think. But this game is at everything, so maybe don't think. But one of these three shots would suffice. When I say that, I'm obviously one of these three shots would suffice, providing the defense holds tight and there's no leaks. Well, we'll take two. That technically could be the ball game. Yeah, great pressure there from uh, Ike Monte on uh, Change. You only allowed five seconds to do something with the ball as well, apart from the uh, pushing. But he was messing around, trying to find somebody to pass to. Didn't do so within five seconds. So possession to the Diesel Electric Services Eagles. And in the real world, Kevin, under normal circumstances, one would say that's the ball game. Well, that certainly is the ball game. What a basket. What a way to finish. I was about to say, what is Ike Monty doing? Use up the time, but then he puts up the basket. So good enough. Well, I thought he should have shot it. <laughs> Always easy to say after the time, and you're quite right. I would have thought that they would have wasted the time, but uh, shot goes up. Spears have not given up. Little pivot in the section, in the center. Another two points. So fighting right up until the death. Yeah, that's the Shabalala, but uh, a lot of hook and duff, duck stuff going on on the court there, but uh, it's still uh, possession. And a fact, a foul has been called. Collective fouls for the extra time, so Ganyapu.
Genyapu ending on a high note. Takes the rebound. And somehow lost possession. And course it Lamini. Now the Eagles won't uh, worry about that, although the Spears might pick up a uh, bonus point also for being yes, in close proximity. They certainly will. And uh, Ganyafu ending, as I said, on a high note. It's uh, been probably one of the most exciting encounters we've seen, certainly in this year's Super Sport Wheelchair Basketball Series. But uh, one must ask, how long is a minute in basketball? Because this minute has taken about 10 minutes, and now there's three shots to come. Yeah, because a foul was committed uh, by uh, Tan Ziki. So that's two free shots. Uh, Gumbi to take them. And half a second left, so just a little bit of pride. Takes the first, and what a game he's had as well. Superman Lagumbi coming out, coming off that bench, coaching in the beginning, waiting for the regular coach who seemed to be a bit late. Not sure what that was about, but uh, what a game he's had. And there is the Hooter. What an exciting game we've seen here at the Vodacom Mandeville Indoor Center. Well, what a game. Uh, Andy, the Eagles prevailing 72 67 over the Spears. But uh, the shooting for the two-pointers there for both teams, not good enough, especially for a team the, uh, uh, with, like the Eagles, because this is their home ground. And uh, fouls quite high on both sides. Turnovers also fairly high on uh, both sides, which uh, really uh, converts, or should have been converted into points. But in this case, uh, I think both teams battled with their shooting. Ganyapu for the Eagles uh, doing the... Business with the points and the rebounds, but Nuki, the man who really was all over the place on the court, and Change, uh, he'll be the uh, man of the match, and, uh, and quite rightly so with his stats. It was a very entertaining game. You know, we started very well, we fell off a bit, but then we came back and we fought, you know. And when you're seeing that small gap that you're closing the gap, you just want to fight more and you want to take it away. It was an amazing game. We might have not won it, but it's a confidence booster for us because we've not had good games in this season. So this one was one of the best games we've played in a long, long time. Having Sipa Mandler come on the court there just seemed to calm you guys down a bit. And obviously guys like you are just absolutely oozing of his experience. Does that make a difference? Yeah, man, we're a young team, you know, so when, when an experienced player like him is on court, we can be a bit more composed because we can be all over the place when it's just young players and we're just all over because we're panicking. But he's able to calm the game down with the experience. He, he just makes us all come together. I think, I think the Spears had a blinder. I think they really, they came in with a game plan and they, they stuck to the game plan and it paid for them. Look, a lot of our troubles with our shooting letting us down, which is unusual for us. You know, Daniel Nyoki is probably one of the best inside key shooters and he's, he really struggled today, you know. So, um, but, you know, in that third quarter, when you win a third quarter, you know, you should win the game easy then, you know, because we won the third quarter really well, you know. And it was the opposite, you know. We seemed to fall apart and they seemed to get stronger in the, in the last quarter. So, you know, hats off to them. I think, they had a, I think they had a great game. 